New Ogres Are Here. Spiking Bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we're taking a look at some Victoria Miniatures and new releases today. She sent over a bunch of sets of her new Ogres and Ogre character, and I, I love these things. They just capture everything that's cool and different, I guess, about uh, about the Imperials. And you can put them in, you know, most most of your guard armies out there. So I think I think they're really neat. So let's take a look at them over on her site and jump right into it and, uh, you know, compare them to some other miniatures you might find familiar. So we're gonna start off today at victoriaminiatures.com. Uh, this website is great. There's a lot of stuff on here. You kind of have to scroll through it. She's got her header up here with, you know, all the different new things and exciting things. And there's a whole bunch of different categories. Uh, these guys are actually in the ab humans category, but you can scroll down and you can find out more. Like if you're looking for a specific regiment, you want to make a custom regiment. She's got lady versions of a lot of them too. So if you're looking for something a little bit different or maybe just completely on that whole vein in your guard army, she's got you covered. Now, uh, shipping wise, it's great. Let's jump over to the shipping page because I already have it pulled up here. So free shipping uh, over a hundred dollars, uh, US dollars that is. And 100 seems to be like the sweet spot because if you do uh, the $100 deal, you actually will get two of the miniature of the months because for uh, every $50, or maybe it's just one. I don't know, either way, <laughs> you get both. You get free shipping and at least one miniature. So I think it's two, but I, I don't know. <laughs> either way, I mean, you can, only, you can only ask for so much free at the end of the day. But there's a lot to see on here and she's kind of broken down by conversion bits and all sorts of different things on here. But let's jump in and uh, kind of take a look at the ab humans. So in the ab human section, there's a bunch of different uh, releases. She's got some not, not, not squats. We got a dwarf mercenary, of course. And uh, some of the beastmen, which you might remember that there was some beastmen miniatures holding bolters and stuff way, way, way back in the day. And then uh, the new ogres, which are great. And recently she actually put in, you can barely see it here because her, her browser actually resizes so well. It doesn't matter how big I make this, it's all gonna stay the same and recenter to my browser, which is different to the, whatever. It's just not gonna, it's, this is the best I can do people. <laughs> so her, uh, the heads over here are great because if you just wanna get um, the, the set of three and put them on whatever you can, right? So that's kind of cool to see because those are really dope face sculpts. If, you, if you're really into ogres, I know a guy that is, he might be right here in front of you, <laughs> then these are pretty cool. So let's, let's jump in and take a look. Now, the thing I want to mention, you know, sometimes people are like, Hey, you know, why, why are you showing me stuff? You know, it's, it's way more expensive than like, say for instance, Games Workshop. And yeah, if you compare it to GW Plastics, it is, right? Because the, the Ogrim box from GW is, I think, $60. And you get six dudes in there, right? So yeah, I get it. It's it's more expensive. But here's the thing is these are models. These are these are handcrafted. They're boutique resin miniatures. I, I'm i going to tell you straight up, like this resin, I don't even think I have to wash it. Like it already comes pre-washed. Like super good, very crisp detail. Uh, this is probably some of our best sculpts I've ever seen quality wise, uh, detail wise and everything. But we'll get to that in a second. What these are is something different, something boutique, something cool to put in your army that you might not already have that has perhaps been offered in the past from a different manufacturer, or maybe, you know, uh, it's just something completely like made up and cool that you that resonates with you and you want to put into your spend your hobby dollars and your hobby time and put in your army and that's what makes this hobby so dope is that we're always converting we're always creating we're always seeing something cool want to add it to our collections and our armies and these are no different i feel like so this set you get three miniatures and yes that means they're 20 bucks each <laughs> um but they're you know they're, they're pretty chunky they're 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 big they're we're, we're gonna take a look at them so you get the, you get three of the bodies three to right arms three to left arms and it's only kind of a ripper gun type deal right you, there there isn't a, a shield and a, and a close combat weapon yet and when there's no gas mask heads yet i know kriegsman i know i know we're waiting for it there's no good ones out there yet soon maybe from somebody i swear anyways back on track uh these are dope and then of course there is the special character which you can use as you know like a leader form or um the bodyguard type deal that we've seen in the past right 24.99 so that's so that just goes to show you, maybe if she sold them separate, they'd be $25, so maybe $60 is, quote, a deal. But I feel like when you compare 
these to something, you really need to kind of compare them to other similar manufacturers out there or potentially somebody like Forge World, which does boutique resin miniatures as well. So comparing them to GW Plastics, if that's your, if that's kind of your baseline, probably isn't a good apples to apples comparison is all I'm saying. So when you order these bad boys, they're gonna come in similar packaging, lots and lots of uh, packing peanuts and such and, and bubble wrap, but this is basically how they're gonna come. They're gonna come out of their sprues and with a little uh, cool little uh, postcard kind of type deal here and that's uh, the same for the character, which really isn't much different from some of the other stuff that I've showed you in the past. First up, we're gonna take a look at Grog Argnog. <laughs> so good. Uh, this guy is a veteran leader, you know, bodyguard, whatever you whatever you want to use it for. He just looks dope. You know, he's got a, he's got a cool blade and a big ass gun. That's the technical term. But once you get get him up close here, and you can really see the kind of quality. Like, there's no glare on this resin whatsoever. Like, this is completely matte. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this is already pre-washed here. Here you can see the uh, the head detail there, which is really, really good. I think I can zoom in on it a little bit uh, just to get in closer. But man, let me tell you what, the detail, the crispness, I mean, just the overall look and feel to these things. I mean, it's gonna take a little bit to clean up, but what resin miniature really isn't right there? And there's a separate uh, skull as well. I think that goes on his, yeah, that goes on his neck. And then here's uh, the body right here and you can see the serrations in uh this is ginormous in that uh that knife right there that combat na knife and all the pouches and things very very crisp detail very chonky i mean this guy this guy's big but uh but i feel like he's uh, definitely done well and his shoulder pad and here he is all put together uh wonderful miniature very well done i think in the assembly uh, the, the just the resin casting here and you can see it. I mean, it's just so crisp so fresh the the resin is very very high quality Like no problems with it whatsoever and everything slotted right in once you know once you clipped it off and kind of got it cleaned up Now how does he compare to some of the other Ogren out there? Well, the base size is about the same, right? Um, but when it comes to size, I feel like the legs are the same the body's about the same but you know, that's kind of where it it gets a little different because obviously they went a little differently with the design of this more like a kind of um, more of a recessive, uh, we'll say ab human, almost like a uh, private pile meets uh, meets an ogre sort of type deal, especially the way they, they painted them up. I love it. Like it's all, it's very, very uh, full metal jackety, right? So cool. And let's speaking of which, let's take a look at the mug crunchers next. And here they are unboxed and you can see that they do come in sections of course. And again, very very crisp highly detailed models right there and this is really cool because there's an opportunity here uh maybe not with these kits per se because the way these kits go together is that the muscles musculatures actually go uh kind of over top almost like a i would say like a ball and socket joint but there's no ball it's more of like a, just a convex concave type type deal right there so these maybe not so much would work with these but there's some potential to, to really do some cool other stuff um, with them just the way that uh, she set up the shoulder pads here or potentially re release you know more kits in the future like maybe some gas mask heads and you know some riot shields and some close combat weapons or something like that if you're really into uh, the shield wall aug augurant <clears throat> death core and <laughs> but I, I really dig this base these guys look great you know with the the dog tags and the in the extra round bandolier and, and such it's so fresh it's so well done and then here's one of the arms with the close combat weapon and the other weapon holding arms that go and fell off but it's okay and uh, just extra ammo feeds right there kind of dangling off and then here's the heads that you can also uh, purchase separately if it's something that you want to add maybe like some military-esque uh, ogre heads you know to whatever I could definitely see the potential there but these are very well done I mean they just looking great like these things so well done but you're gonna need a kind of a ball more of a traditional ball and socket uh kind of joint there just like uh just like this if you're going to uh convert something like that so you can make a bunch of different potential poses here because these are all pretty much the same striding you know so you can do the different guns you're not really locked in to, to kind of this style right here if you don't really want that but you could you know if, if you really wanted to um it just kind of depends so that's uh that's pretty much all i had to show you today the, the two newest releases i mean three if you count uh the heads being being a release by themselves uh over there on victoria Minchers. victoriaminchers.com of course but before you go over there make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos